Okay, today we're going to talk about a new feature that's uh, in, in Windows 8.1. So if you have that, by the time you watch this video, you'll be able to use it. It's not integrated into the phone. It's uh, You have to go download it, and it's actually the file manager. Now what I've done is I've uh, put a large icon to it, and that's what the icon looks like for file manager, believe it or not. Uh, you have to go to the store to go get it. So just go to the, your store. If you haven't seen this before, the store has been completely revamped as well. And we're just going to click on search down here and type in the word file. Okay, so we just go in here and say F. There's files right there. Okay. And we should see the first one, Microsoft Corporation File Manager. Simply go in there and run your install. Uh, you can go through and take a look at it, but it's the only file manager right now, at least, that uh, uh, is going to do anything for you. A lot of the other ones didn't have any kind of real functionality because the operating system prevented it. So let's go back to the actual uh, uh, file manager itself. Again, the icon is going to look like this. Hopefully they'll improve it later on. Um, and the first thing you see is a list of your devices or your, your storage uh, locations. Now this phone only doesn't have an SD card, but you're probably going to have one here. If you have one with an SD card, you'll probably see that available too. So and you'll see it shows you the, the uh, size that was used. So let's, uh, it also shows what's available as well. And so let's go in here and take a look at the phone. Now we have your normal system folders, documents, downloads, music. I created one called New Folder, which we're, we're going to take a look at here in a minute. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, pictures and all that. And you can browse up and down in these and go take a look at stuff. But let's talk about the functions here right now at the bottom of your screen. The first one is exactly what I just talked about. Is you can add New Folder. Okay, and if I say New Folder here and if I say Save... Uh, it says can't create it. It doesn't do it like it does with Windows. It doesn't automatically create a number two. So you have, when you say uh, create new folder, I'm going to give it a name here uh, of new folder W or whatever. And you'll see that it's created another folder down there called new folder W. Okay, And it's listed amongst these folders down here. So um, that's, it shows that. Now, when you're in here with these folders, you can do certain functions, but certain functions you can't because these are symptoms fo system folders. If I press and hold on Documents, you'll see that it comes up with Share and Properties. And if you hit Share, will be able to the usual share kind of stuff. Now, I haven't tested this, but you can share NFC, all this different stuff. Uh, the, it, the recent ones you use, it'll show up there at the top. Uh, theoretically, you can share a whole folder uh, through your mail and stuff. Um, but you can play around with that a little bit. The other function that you have here under uh, when you press and hold is the properties. And if you click on properties, you'll see that it tells you exactly the status of the documents, so what's going, how many documents there are, how much storage is being used. Now, if we go down to one of the folders that we created in our system folder, and you press and hold that instead, okay, you notice you have delete, share, rename, and properties. So you can delete it, of course. You can still share it like it was before. You can rename it and then the property. So the two new functions are delete and rename. Of course, because you own, you have rights to control those. You don't have rights to control the system directories. Now the next item I want to cover down here is the third icon, which is the sort icon. You press that, and you'll see you have the normal functions. You can sort by name, ascending, descending, newest, oldest, largest, and smallest. And of course, you're going to use this mostly in your, not maybe in your documents directory, but or your file folder structure, more in maybe your documents or downloads and then you're trying to find something or sort them that way to see which one's the, the most current file. The last thing I want to take a look at is the search function right here. So if you press on the search function, you can just type in a name here and you can search within the phone system and it'll show you where that location of that file is. Um, let's go here. I'm going to type in PDF. And it comes up with suggestions, of course, there, right? And you hit enter to search, and it found my sample PDF, and it's in the phone documents directory. So you can find that. And of course, you can do whatever you want with it right there. So that's the search functionality. So now we have all that. Let's go, uh, now we can go into the pictures directory, for example, and we can do certain things within the system folders. We go in here under pictures, and let's go to camera roll, okay? And there's these files in here. And the first one's an, uh, a video, and it does not show a clip. So it doesn't show the clip of what the video is, so you don't know what that is. Uh, on the pictures, of course, it does, as you can see. 
uh, you know, you can do certain things here. If you press and hold the, the, uh, that particular one, you have the same functions we saw before. Delete, share, rename, move to, and copy to. So you can move it wherever you want, do what you want to do with it. Uh, renaming, you're on a trip, you don't want that long name, you want to save the picture of wife at the beach or whatever. Uh, you can just redo it right then and there from your phone so you don't accidentally delete it or get confused about your files. A pretty handy thing to have, actually. Um, you can also do the multiple things. You can click on the box there and do the multiple functions. You can do using the two icons down here at the bottom. You can say, like, for example, that's that one, and that's the move to. And you use this to navigate up here where you want to move it to, which folder. And it says move here or copy to there. So you can use that multiple function there to do the move and copy for multiple rather than doing one at a time. Now the one thing you can't do is do multiples here and use the, the rename function that's buried underneath here. You'll see it's grayed out. You can't sit there and rename multiple files at the same time. Uh, not that you necessarily want to. It's a pain under regular windows. Uh, but it's something that you, uh, you can't do here either. Uh, so let's back out of that. So let's go back up a level here to cover the last function I want to show. And I've copied some things into my documents directory. Uh, let me go back one more level. So for here, when we go look in the documents directory, we'll see that I have some sample documents set up. And I have one of uh, mostly each type. But for example, there's a, uh, a Word file. Actually, it's a text file. Actually, it's a text file that says it uh, will be opened up with a Word. You know, a presentation file will be opened up correctly. A PDF will be by the PDF reader. And a spreadsheet um, will be opened up by the Excel. And since you have them with your phone, they came with your Windows phone, you'll be able to take a look at all those. For example, if I open up a text file, Word fires up, and there's my text file. If I go back, I open my presentation. There's my presentation picture and everything. I can run my presentation. Uh, PDF. Uh, Brings the PDF. Oh, this one's got a password lock on it, so we won't be able to see that. But it'll bring it'll bring up the uh, the actual PDF. And again, of course, here's a spreadsheet. It brings up Microsoft Excel, and there's your spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel. So the documents directory will allow you to go in there and do all those things. So if you wanted to show somebody one of your documents, you don't have to go to the application and go find it. You can just browse to your documents directory, bring it up here, and uh, do a presentation. Uh, right from your phone. So it's a very handy uh, function. So that's the file manager for Windows Phone uh, 8.1. Uh, it's a nice start. At least we get out there. We can start there and start using other directories, start using other files, and start doing uh, more and more functions to help manage your phone, especially when you're on the road. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.